Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing us how to cut this sleeve. So the first thing you want to do is to fold your fabric into four. This will enable you to be able to cut out the two sleeves at the same time. And it's a long sleeve, it's an A-line sleeve, and it also has a kind of, um, the wrist opening is kind of slanted, okay? So first thing is to draw the sleeve headline. So that is the topmost part for the sleeve. The next thing you want to divide your armhole by three. So mine is 18. 18 divided by three will give me six. So from the sleeve head up to this point is six inches. Okay. So I'm just going to draw uh, the next line now. Okay. Yeah. Then after this line, the next line I'll be drawing is uh, the sleeve entry. Or that, or let me say the length of the sleeve. The length of my sleeve is about um, I think 24 inches okay so I'll just add about one or two inches for um, seam allowance okay so this is the length of my sleeve now once I do this you now divide your armhole by two so 18 divided by two will give me nine okay your arm circumference divided by two and then you put a tip in a slanted manner like I've done then you draw a slanted line okay now next thing you divide that line into two equal halves like that then you go for that to divide the other two um in sorry divide for that into half again so i have divided this into four equal parts now i'll come up by three quarter of an inch on the first part the second part i'll come up by quarter of an inch and then i'll come in inwards on the third line and come up by half an inch then you now use your French curve to draw your sleeve head so you can see that I placed my French curve the first two lines I joined them the, sorry the first two points I joined them that way and then the last the second point and the last point see where I placed my um, French curve like that okay so my sleeve is ready okay it's almost ready rather now I'm going to measure what I have here okay so this is about um seven if i'm not mistaken yeah it's about seven inches up there about without the seam allowance space i'm marking where the curve ends actually okay not the straight line where the curve ends so that's about seven inches now i'll go to the hemline of my sleeve and do at least times one and a half so to achieve that i will first of all measure the seven which is the actual measurement then i can put at least half of seven or if your fabric if you still have excess fabric you can do more than that so i just marked what is remaining on the fabric okay so i'm going to link this to the measurement at the top but let me mark one for seam allowance first where i have the curve the sleeve then i can now link it together okay so um sleeve allowance is one inch right now if you look at the picture very well the sleeve is not it's not straight on the wrist entry is a little bit slanted so that's what makes the sleeve different from the regular a-line sleeve so what you do now is i'm going to come down from the sleeve the wrist entry i'll come down by depending on what you want so i'm just about um, three or three and a half inch i'll come down okay and then i'll now link it back to um the original sleeve opening the wrist entry line the original length of sleeve line i don't know what i'm just trying to give you different names so that you don't get confused so you see what i'm doing so i'll just link it back to that line there yeah like that mm -hmm. and then we're done now one thing with this sleeve is you can actually you can actually leave it like this and cut it out or you can make it slightly fitted around the elbow and then before it now curves out to give you that a-line look so if you want to make it fitted around the elbow okay because based on the picture we can't really tell because of the way the person was standing you know but either way it's fine the highlight is the waist entry so you can either leave it like this or you can just you know make it slightly fit or make it slightly fitted around the um, elbow so what you do is you measure from your shoulder to around probably 14 inches or where your elbow stops whichever one 
okay then i'm going to draw a line so this line is now the sleeve head to or the shoulder to my elbow okay yeah so um i will measure what i have on the second line there i think i had about um seven inches over there it just shows briefly so whatever you have at the um top part here which is about i think seven you just remove about one inch on it and then you measure it here so that way you have like um it's not fitted like fitted but you have this you know um the elbow part is slightly fitted than in the other parts of the sleeve but this part is optional so i'll just think it like this okay and then of course um we're linking it back to the length of the sleeve okay so i'm just adding extra one inch for seam allowance okay and then i will mark that point and then linking everything back to you know the lower part of the sleeve before i cut out so this part is actually not necessary if you don't want to make your sleeve, just leave it if i cut it out initially i'm just giving us different options and that's it very simple so um you cut out and then you attach it to your um blouse whatever <laughs> okay so i hope you guys were able to learn from this tutorial please give it a thumbs up do not forget to follow this page feel free to ask your questions leave your comments and um if you want me to create if you have anything on to create in in form of videos paper illustration you could also indicate that in the comment section okay so that will be all for now guys Thank you so much for watching and bye.